Hello friends. In the present video, we will discuss about the classification of piles based on the load transfer. Okay. Coming to the gate exam point of view, in deep foundation, we are having only pile foundation. Pile foundation. So what is meant by pile? Pile is nothing but a one dimension is very, very larger in comparison to the other two dimensions used for the deep foundation. So by using piles, we will construct the deep foundation. So in this chapter, we will only concentrate on the pile foundation. We are having only syllabus of pile on the gate exam. So uh, let us classify this pile foundation based on the load transfer. So I'll say classification of pile based on load transfer. Suppose First, let me tell you the types. After that, we will decide. First one is nothing but a friction pile. Friction pile. And second one is nothing but a end bearing pile. End bearing pile. And third one is friction come end bearing pile. Friction come end bearing pile. Okay, uh, let us discuss about these three types. Okay. Now, first let us discuss about the friction pile. Pile we have already discussed about it. What is meant by friction? Hope everyone knows. It is a resisting force acting tangential to the surface. That means, if I construct any pile, okay? And if I'm applying the load acting on the pile, let us say Q, and whatever the load that has applied on the pile, that will be resisted by frictional forces. What is mean frictional? Those are generated parallel to the contact surfaces. So here, suppose if I take, suppose if I compare in total the pile, my length is very, very in larger magnitude. That means if I see the cross section, let us say the cross section is rectangle. The cross section, that means I can say that because the circumference of the pile is very, very large, isn't it? So that's why whatever the load that is acting on the pile, that will be resisted through circumference, through the frictional forces. So that's why it is called the frictional pile. That means whatever the applied force that will be resisted by frictional forces. Where the friction forces will act, those will act along the circumference of the pile. Where we have to uh, use this friction pile? Suppose, even if you go into the deeper, if you are not any harder surface, there is no hard surface if you are founding on the project where you are constructing the pile foundation, then whatever the load that will be resisted through friction only. So this quantity in general will be represented by QS. That means it is acting on the surface, that's why QS. Suppose if I say the bearing capacity, ultimate bearing capacity is QU. This will be estimated only from the frictional forces. So that's why I'm representing with QS. This is what about the friction pile. Next, talk about the end bearing pile. If you are talking about the end bearing pile, the name itself implies end bearing. That means the resisting force is acting at the end. Suppose if I take a pile and if at the project side, if there is a hard stratum available at the bottom, 
let us say hard stratum it may be a rock also so if there is a at the some limited depth if you are able to find the hard stratum then we will drive our pile up to that hard stratum so whatever the load that is applied on the pile that will be resisted by this hard stratum that is contacted at the end of the pile that's why it is called the end bearing pile so it, it this force is applied normal to the surface that's why it is called the end bearing pile as it is an end bearing pile we will represent with qb so if it is an end bearing pile the ultimate capacity of the pile that will be estimated by using only end bearing that will be is equal to qb next what are the type of pile friction come and bearing for end bearing come friction you can consider it any length anything you wish friction come and bearing pile if it is friction come and bearing pile so if you are constructing a pile if you are constructing a pile whatever the load that is applied on the pile that is resisting resisted through friction and also that is resisted through end bearing also so that's why in this case the ultimate bearing capacity can be find by the summation of frictional pile resistance plus and bearing resistance so in the problem they will mention you clearly whether it is a friction pile or end bearing pile or friction come and bearing pile so depending upon the category we have to find out the ultimate bearing capacity of the pile okay in the next video we will see another classification based on piles thank you